Right, next up I'm going to talk to you about colouring in an iris. Um, for me, as a fashion illustrator, I always feel like the eyes are probably one of the main important parts of my illustrations and that's probably one of the things that people always talk to me about and compliment me on. Um, just because the eyes kind of really can grab the attention of the viewer and draw them in and really kind of set a mood or set kind of a little bit of emotion with the character. So as you can see here, I have already colored in, is it 200% so it's a little blurry, I'll zoom out a bit. Uh, I've already colored in the eyes for you, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down. So I've done this simply again, just using four layers. And I'm just going to, um, like throughout this whole tutorial, I've kept everything to kind of a minimum around about four layers, just so that you can see that it is really quite easy to create. So, first I started off with my base pale blue. And I guess if you look at my sketch to start, it's just some basic shading, but there isn't really a lot of information going on. So first I'm going to add, I'm just going to, remove this now. I'm just going to add a little bit of just a starter color just kind of to set the color of her eye. So at this point I'm still using my airbrush tool so keeping it nice and soft and thinking you know up the top here there's going to be a little bit of a shadow from the eyelid. Most people kind of have a little bit of a darker kind of line around the outside of their iris. And I also usually go over the black um, of the pupil as well, just because it just gives it a little bit more depth. When I do the drawing, I always kind of leave a suggestion of a highlight, but I always add in a little bit more later, so you don't have to worry too much if you do cover that up. So at this point, I'm just kind of adding in a little bit of information. If you have a look in the mirror, you'll probably notice that um, most people anyway have kind of a another additional color in their eyes so they might have a blue eye but they'll have little bits of yellow in there or bits of green or bits of brown so I always try and leave a little bit of um, just a contrast color in there as well so first I do that which is pretty simple really occasionally I also do a little bit of um, just a little bit of blue into the whites of the eyes as well I find that it just gives it a little bit more depth and if you look at your eyes they're not you may think of them as white but they're not actually entirely white so sometimes it can be nice to kind of add in a bit of blue a little bit of pink sometimes a little bit of yellow as well next up i add in some finer details so i'll just erase that one for you and i'll show you how we do it so now's the time that i first start off using the airbrush and then i go into a slightly harder brush so same again, adding some depth to the top, kind of more shadow than everything, anything. And then I usually go kind of around the outside. And just kind of paint the outside edge. And then I usually change to a slightly harder brush without without the kind of softness to it. And then I start to add in just some more detailed line work. Just because if you do, go have a look in the mirror, you can see there's lots of little lines throughout your iris. Some bits I kind of, I'd like to try and make it a little bit irregular because your eyes are never perfectly spaced out with the lines. Some bits I like to make a little bit darker. Oops, maybe not quite that dark. But just kind of really trying to get in there and build up some texture. I think, you know, like lots of my work um, has quite a lot of simplistic areas, but I do like to bring in a lot more information into, into the eyes. And then I usually like to add in just some contrast. So just once again, I'll just remove that and whoops, do it again for you. 
So using the same brush again. Adding a lighter tone and as you can see here this is on normal just because um, when you're using lighter colors on top of darker colors you probably want to use a normal layer mode just so that um, they actually show up because you can see that as soon as I multiply it just disappears. If you're not really sure about how to colour in the eye, just go and have a look in the mirror or get your reference back up again and just kind of think about how your eye looks. And once again, like I've been saying throughout this whole tutorial, um, you can add more and more and more layers to really pull it together, uh, but this is just how I am doing it for this tutorial for you. And so then I go in and add the highlights and the highlights just kind of um, give the eye a little bit of dimension because the eyes are not flat and I find that they also help with drawing the attention as well. So I pretty much always use the airbrush again for this. As you can probably tell by now it's my favourite. And I always go in and usually start with the, the main highlight uh, just because it's already been drawn there and I find that having it kind of drawn in the original sketch and then adding a bit more kind of also adds some more dimension. And then, you know, usually because your eyes are wet as well, put a few kind of tear reflections I guess. the lights throughout the eye And then I always like to step back and just compare to the other one as well, just to make sure that things are even. And so now she has colored in eyes. And you'll see if you flick on and off, you can see it just adds a whole lot more to the life of her really, the life of the illustration. And so really just quite simple, just a combination of the airbrush and slightly harder brush. And once again, working from um, the darker colors, change that around, uh, the darker colors up to your highlights and using multiply for your darker colors and then using normal layer modes just so that the brighter lighter colors colors show up and you can also I mean you can also add a whole lot more using different levels of brightness with the white and just changing it changing it around so make sure you save and play around see so the great thing now is that if I wanted to change your eyes to green I just go in and choose my green and now she has green eyes so as you can see it's very very easy when you're working with the masks.